Hi, I'm Michael Good, and I'm a NASA astronaut. I'm living and working down at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Before being selected as an astronaut um, at NASA, I was in the Air Force and I was a navigator. I flew various different uh, airplanes. I flew F-111s operationally, really cool airplane. I was doing flight tests on the B-2 Stealth Bomber when it was brand new. I did flight tests on the F-15s, which was a really neat airplane. But then to be able to go and fly the, uh, the space shuttle a lot higher and faster than the F-111, but a pretty uh, cool mission too. I think the Hubble mission was actually my most uh, challenging mission. There was just so much to it. It was my first space flight mission and it was my first uh, spacewalks. So there was a lot to learn. We were really well prepared though and really well trained. It was probably the most fun I've ever had was just training for the mission. To actually get to go fly it was just icing on the cake. Hubble just stared at one spot in the sky. It's a very you know, narrow, kind of a point in the sky as if you were looking through a soda straw and Hubble using its different instruments is able to put all those images together and uh, create this one ultra deep field image looking at the light coming at us from billions of years ago. You can see the hundreds of galaxies that are in that one picture and you know the millions and millions of stars in each of those galaxies. It's pretty amazing. Hubble's important uh, because it, it's the first step in exploration. We're seeing back to the first light of the universe. 13 billion with a B, billion years ago, we're seeing that light just coming to us now. And so to enable that by going up there and fixing Hubble and uh, allowing it to live a little longer, it's important not just to the astrophysicists and the astronomers, but it, it's to, important to teachers and students, everyone that can use and, and learn from the Hubble discoveries. 